Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial with Roaring Records. Today I wanted to talk about using my MIDI drum set to create a build-up. Now a build-up is a common thing in a lot of electronic music and some rock music honestly as well. Kind of the repetition of a particular sound and as that sound uh, repeats it may repeat at twice the frequency as it goes along and then finally you'll also get some volume build up with it as well so we're going to do this by first starting with half notes then moving to quarter notes eighth notes and ending up in 16th notes so i'm going to use a kick sound a snare center sound and a hi-hat sound those are my three most basic drum set sounds so i'm going to first create half note uh, sounds in measure one I'm going to use my command key to change my pointer tool to my pencil tool so that I can write when I click so create a note there create a note here and create a hi-hat sound I'm gonna come over to my beat three of measure one and create those again now you could go on keep uh, going I'm going to do an option drag so I use my pointer tool to click and select all the sounds then I'm going to hold my option key and drag these over into the next measure I'm also going to drag them just one beat so now I have quarter notes that I've created in measure two and now we're going to move on to measure three and like I said, we're making these more and more frequent. So I'm going to use my quarter notes and I'm going to use my eighth notes. And finally, for the back half of this measure, I'm going to duplicate by selecting these. And now we're going to have all, all the notes available to us. So 16th notes. We have half note, half note, quarter, 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 eighth, 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 and then eight sixteenth notes at the end. So this is what the basic rhythm of the buildup sounds like. I'm sure you've heard that presented at some point in time uh, in a music track of some description. But what I would like to also have happen here is you can see that all my velocities are set at 64 right now. My velocity set is down here. They're all the same color. I want to actually modify that velocity so that it increases over time. I'm going to use my MIDI draw tool right here. And what I want to change is any channel note velocities. All I have to do down here is drag and draw a line through this. And now my velocities have shaped or been automated to that line going from very low in the purple to high in the orange and red range. Now when I go back to the beginning and we listen to this, we'll actually hear the velocity build and the rhythm speed build. So that adds a lot more effect to that build up. Um, you have actual velocity changes as well as the rhythm intensifying by doubling every so often. Um, I hope this helps. Creates a neat little buildup. Uh, a tool I like to use, especially when introducing new ideas or leading up to a beat drop. All sorts of things like that. Hope you enjoy.